If I asked you who your target audience is, how much would you be able to tell me about them? So understanding your target audience is a huge part of marketing, of business, of personal branding. And it's something which I think everyone kind of goes, yeah, 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 I know it, I know it. But when you actually dig into how much they know, there's often a bit of a leaning towards demographic instead of psychographics. So the demographics are the things like your gender, age, education, income, life stage, geography. They're kind of the, uh, I don't know, the logistical things about a person. But when you're coming to actually building out a personal brand, what you really want to understand are the psychographics, the beliefs, the mindset, the values, the phrases they use, the pain points they're struggling with, uh, the contents they, the content they consume, the behavior they exhibit, the stuff that really helps you to understand that person. Because what you're going to do with your personal brand is you're going to help that person to achieve the things that they want to achieve. You're going to help them go from A to B. If I think about myself with helping people to grow their personal brands, the psychographics of my audience so that, you know, they've got a desire to grow their brand, to have an impact, you know, to attract opportunities, but they might be struggling with things such as, you know, lack of uh, time, overwhelm, lack of clarity on where to start, confusion. And my goal is to take them from A, all of those pain points, to B, being able to have, you know, a clear content strategy, attracting opportunities and building that brand that they want to build. So understanding that A to B journey is essentially the key, key part to, first of all, you know, building your, your brand from scratch, but also from building your content strategy, your product strategy, your methodologies. Everything comes from understanding those psychographics. Where are they now and where do they want to get to? And then the rest of it is all about helping you to understand more about the person, their motivations, the things they think about, the things that they feel, because the more that you can understand them, the better. And it might seem random as to why you need to know, um, you know, what you know, what their beliefs are, what their feelings are, all of that kind of stuff. But I promise you that there are people on the internet who do know that stuff about their audience. And at the end of the day, you know, all of these platforms, it's really a, um, I don't want to call it a battle, but it is essentially a battle for attention. And I don't mean attention in a negative way. This is not about being an attention seeker, but these platforms are full of content and we are constantly filtering out information because there is way, way too much coming at us. So what you need to make sure that you're doing is, you know, being in the forefront of somebody's feed by really deeply understanding what it is, where they are at A and where they are at B, because you're trying to stand out and go, look, you know, follow me or engage me or I can help you. So if you think you know all of the demographics, that's great. But can you dig a little bit more into the psychographics? Can you get to know your audience on a deeper level? Because I guarantee you, you will learn stuff about your audience that you had absolutely no idea about and actually might give you a lot more insight into them and a lot more insight into how you can better serve them with your brand.